Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I just showered and I'm getting ready for the day. Putting on my trusty Fitbit. Going in with my Dermalogica Intensive Moisture. I know I've already raved about this probably about 1500 times, but I love it. So I know what you're thinking. What the heck is on your chest? <laughs> Oh, I kind of debated. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear shirts that cover it up and Because I mean, let's get real. It's embarrassing. It's not cute. It's it's a Zio patch um, But yeah, I mean I figured you know what this is real life and other people go through these things other people have health issues and Why cover it up like who cares? It's fine. Nobody cares that I'm wearing that It does not change a thing um, so here's your your little tip for the day. <laughs> Advocate for yourself. Healthcare, like, it's great and they can do a world of things for people who are sick and that's fantastic, but the people who are sick and don't know what's going on, sometimes it can just be a nightmare and you have to really, really advocate for yourself. Don't take you have anxiety as an answer. Like, you know your body. I've been lived in this body for 30 years. I know what feels right, what feels wrong, what feels like anxiety, and what feels like sickness. Um, so even if nobody believes you, keep going. Switch doctors. Advocate, advocate, advocate for yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go off on that random little tangent, but I figured you'd be wondering. I have Zio patch on. I have to have it on for the next two weeks, which will be interesting because I ordered a bunch of clothes to do some try-ons with you guys and I don't know like I said you know what it is what it is and I shouldn't be concerned about it um, I think most of the outfits I actually purchased are like higher neck so you might be able to see a little bit who cares who cares it's real life y'all I recently switched over to natural deodorant um, this is the Schmitz it smells super good. This is, let's see, vanilla and oat milk, 48 hour protection. I'm just trying to get the, the less metals in my body, the better, honestly. This one's like aluminum free. Let's, let's see, what else does it say? No baking soda. Is baking soda bad for you? Okay, that's new news to me. Anyway, new aluminum salts, no artificial fragrance. Um, oh, so the vanilla and oat milk must be real. Interesting. Um, it says 48 hour protection. I would say I have to apply this like once to twice a day. Like I'll apply at the beginning of the day. If I know I'm going somewhere in the evening, I'll reapply it. Not that you can like smell me, but like I can kind of smell me, you know, like it's not that bad. Uh, but I am trying to switch over and I know there's like a period of time where it's, it's just a pain in the neck. So yesterday, well, let me rewind. There's been this huge mirror, Atari mirror at Home Goods. I have been eyeing like for years. Like every time I go in there, I'm like, they always get new ones and they're enormous. I don't really even know what the measurements are. I would say probably close to like 80 by 30, 35. Yeah, probably somewhere in there. It's huge. Um, so I've been looking at them. There were, $3.99, $2.99, somewhere in there, depending on which one, which is crazy for a mirror. Um, but because I've been doing a lot of fashion hauls and stuff, I've been like, oh, I love that mirror so much. So I went to Home Goods Monday and I saw like the little red clearance tag and I was like, oh my goodness, what is the clearance? And it was like $2.49. I was like, okay, <laughs> clearance, but not really, you know? So I had to run to Whole Foods, which is right across the street yesterday, and I was like, you know what, let me just drop in Home Goods real quick. I'm just looking for, you know, some new decor, and they always put out new stuff on, like, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I ran in there, and I was, like, walking by, I saw a little red sticker on my mirror, and I was like, ah, oh, it's still $2.49, and then I, like, stopped, and I was like, that says $1.49. I was like, okay, I have to get it. So I, like, called my husband, he's on his way home from work. I was like, come to Home Goods because he has the pickup truck. So I was like, hurry up, come to Home Goods. I'm gonna buy this mirror. So as I was like going through the whole process, um, it started to rain, and we were like, 
well, it hadn't started to rain. It looked like it was about to downpour and I like checked the weather and I just, because the back is like that cardboard, you know, material, I did not want it to get all wet, deal with mold and all that other stuff. So anyway, long story longer, <laughs> um, I have to go back today and pick up the mirror. Um, actually, now that I'm saying that, I really hope my husband left me the truck. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyway, at some point in this vlog, I'm going to pick up the mirror. Um, they said they'd help me load it and then my husband will help me unload it because the thing is gigantic. Uh, but I'm super excited to have it. I think it's gonna look really cool in the fashion videos I do. So anyway, I gotta get going, gotta get downstairs. And Lucy is up, I need to go grab her milk, go get her up and start our day. And I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. I'm gonna straighten it with the air, Dyson Air Straight freaking love the Dyson Air Straight. If you guys don't have it, it is so worth it. It's amazing. Anyway, I'll talk more about that later. Um, I also got a new curling iron that I want to try with you guys and a million packages to open. So let's get on with the day. I'll see you soon. I'm sitting here with my daughter watching a little TV show while she eats breakfast. Hey, stop moving my arm. <laughs> and she just screamed so loud and jumped into my arms and buried her head and I was like what happened and she points up at this that tiny fly on the ceiling <laughs> yeah. if you guys don't drink coconut water here is your sign <laughs> Whenever I drink this, I feel a million times better. It just gives me like this boost of energy in the morning. Um, it just has a tons of like electrolytes and minerals. I get the, um, let's see, the Vita Coco Coconut Water Farmers Organic. Great. I love it. Try something new with you guys. I have seen this all over the internet for the longest time, the pink stuff, um, and I've just never tried it. I, I think you can only get it from like Amazon most of the time. Anyway, while I was at Marshall's the other day, I saw it there for $4.79, so I was like, you know what, I might as well try it because I've had a heck of a time trying to get my stove top cleaned. I have tried literally everything. Here, I'll show it to you guys. See that? I cannot get it off of my stove top. So I was excited when I found this because I was like, okay, well maybe this will work. A lot of people rave about it, but I'm embarrassed to say that it just took me five minutes to figure out <laughs> if I could use this or not. I guess I just assumed I could use it on my stove top, but the back of it specifically says do not use on hot or warm surfaces. So I was like, does that mean I can't use it when something is physically hot? or something that gets hot, like a stove top. <laughs> I don't know, it just took me forever, but the top of it says to use on cooker tops. So that's considered a cooker top, right? <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm gonna use it and we'll, we'll see how it works. Um, yeah, hopefully it gets it off. Okay, so here it is. Thus far, the smell is unpleasant, but it's not, ew, I just got some on my finger. Um, it's unpleasant, but it's not, it's not too bad. So the instructions say to apply it with a rag or like some sort of cloth. Um, I really don't want to use a rag or cloth, so I'm just going to use a paper towel and see how that works. Okay, I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on there. I'm just going to kind of scoop some out. Oof. Oof. <laughs> it's kind of gross, I'm not going to lie. Um, and just spread it. I don't know, maybe just leave it there for a few minutes. It says not to like scrub because it could like take off the polish, which I'm surprised it's that potent. It said to do a spot test. <laughs> um, I don't have time for that. All right, I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly or not. I'm just gonna leave it like this. For like five minutes and then we'll come back and try to take it off okay it's been about five minutes so i don't know let's see i'm just i dampened a, a paper towel oh i'm just smudging it everywhere okay it feels really gritty oh 
Okay, so it's not perfect. There's still some pretty obvious areas. However, it looks a lot better. This is more than any other product I've used has done. I think if I just did it one more time on these little areas around here, it would it would be back to normal. So, I mean, that's pretty great. I, like I said, it's much better than anything else I've used. It did take a lot of paper towels to um, clean up the mess, but um, yeah, overall I'd say it worked really well. Okay, so I just ran upstairs and grabbed my Dyson Air Straight. I'm gonna straighten my hair. I use the Kenra blow dry spray. Um, I love this stuff. It makes my hair so silky smooth. It's a great heat protectant. Um, so I'm just gonna sort out my hair. I wanna, if you guys haven't tried the Dyson Air Straight, it's so good. Like I would not recommend something to you guys that was $500 just like for no reason or because it was like a little bit good. I think the, the greatest points to hit are, number one, dry time is so much faster. Um, second, I don't have to go in with a flat iron if I don't want to. It makes my hair that straight. With somebody with naturally curly hair, that says a lot. It keeps it like super sleek and not frizzy. Um, the thing I love the most about it though, because I used to use the, um, the Revlon One Step blow dryer it was so hot like that was my issue with it like not only did it damage your hair but also like I would be sweltering while doing it and so that just drove me absolutely nuts um this because sorry just clicked on <laughs> because it's only um gets up to 200 and I believe 85 degrees because it only gets up to 285 degrees, it's not that hot. And then the air is like blowing this way, like straight down the shaft. So it's not like getting your face hot or your neck hot. And it's really like not even a hot temperature. So like it can be really hot and humid in my house and I can blow dry my hair and it's like no big deal. It doesn't even break a sweat. Where usually I'd be like sweat city. <laughs> later yeah straight hair <laughs> I wanted to mention too um, the other thing I love this for is if you don't wash your hair every day and you put it up in like a whatever that's called when you get into the shower <laughs> shower cap and you're I don't know about you guys but like my hair still gets wet like even if it's up in a shower cap like the underneath will just get like damp and like sometimes like right up here it'll get damp it's really frustrating this thing makes it so easy to just go in and like shoo, and it's dry and it's straight and you don't have to worry about the humidity. Um, same goes for like if you work out or like you go on a walk and like your hair just gets like icky from the humidity and just like a little bit damp. This thing is awesome because you can just fix your hair in like 0.2 seconds. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. Hey guys, so it's a little while later and you can see I've changed my top, put on a necklace and stuff. I'm going to be filming a makeup get ready with me video with some of the new things I got but I wanted to share them with you guys real quick before I did the video um okay so starting out about I think it was last week Tati um was talking about a curling iron that she had used now I've heard of this curling iron before it's called the bio ionic um but I I didn't understand the hype I was like okay whatever but she had said that it's a super long barrel. Look at like that's that's pretty stinking long. <laughs> um, and she said it works perfectly for her long hair. And that is the part I have the hardest time with when using a curling iron is my hair is just so long that like wrapping is such a pain in the neck. And I okay, I like wands. I don't like curling irons. So I was skeptical of using this. Um, I was reading some stuff about it though, and it said that. The clamp itself gets hot though, so you can use it as a wand. So that is my intention to use it as a wand, not a curling iron because you don't want to see me use a curling iron. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sure if I put in the time, I could figure it out, but I'm excited to use this. I'll do this in like 10 minutes. As soon as I'm done with this, I will use this and show you guys how it works out. Um, the next thing I got was from 
Victoria's Secret. I don't really shop their clothing. Well, I guess this is pink. Yeah, it's considered Victoria's Secret pink. Um, but I saw this <laughs> bright pink sweater and I was like, okay, that's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, so, let's open it up for you guys. That's pretty cute. I like the color. It's not too cropped. Anyway, I'll try it on for you guys afterwards and show you my opinions. It's really soft on the inside. Um, but as I was checking out, I saw it said buy one, get one free. And I was like, wait, what? So I got the matching shorts. No, not the shorts. Uh, I think I bought the joggers. Yeah, I got the matching joggers. Um, I got them both in size medium. But like I said, I will try them on for you guys in just a second. I also, I know, woo, oh boy. This, okay, this is too pink. I already know this is too pink. It's hurting my eyeballs. I don't think that's translating on camera as like neon as it is in person. I mean, it's really cute. I don't know. I'll have to try it on and see how it is. Just first impression, it's way too bright. Like I'm, I'm not gonna wear that. So that's a bummer. Express, um, I got a bunch of different things at Express. So I got a tank top. I also got it in, this is it? I also got it in black. They just seem they were like the nice matte. They usually have like um, the crop style, but this is supposedly the full length. It's called the body contour, like full length tank. Um, so I was excited to try those. I also got a dress. Let me take this out of the package. I think this is the portfolio dress. Really pretty. I just thought it'd be super cute for fall. Just trying to see if this is gonna fit around my waist. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'll try it on with you guys. I just thought it was a gorgeous color. It's nice and long. But it was like 98 bucks. So if you're gonna get it, get it on sale because I didn't. <laughs> and then I also picked up this skirt. I've been wanting this skirt for a while. And oh yeah, this is gonna fulfill all my hopes and dreams. I just know it. <laughs> As a nice stretchy waistband, with like a slit down the bottom. It's like a nice midi length. I'm really excited to try this. If this works out, I hope they come out in new colors because all they had was um, gray. Yeah, they only had gray. It's not like a deep gray color. So it's hoping to get maybe like a tan or something like that. Okay. So that's it for clothes. The other things I picked up, I'll grab this first. I went into Sephora. Well, first I placed an order on Sephora.com. And after that, I was like, okay, I need more things. <laughs> um, so I went into the store. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Wand in Pinkgasm. I'm excited to try that. I also picked up the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Liner in Wise. I think I saw Samantha March put this on and I was like, that is a gorgeous color. And I've never tried their lipsticks before, so I wanted to try the lipstick. I picked it up in the color Worthy. I just thought it'd be a nice match for like a fall color. I also picked up the Facial Radiance Pads. Um, I love these. I stopped using them for like maybe last three months and I have noticed a huge difference in my skin um, in a in not a good way, <laughs> in a negative way. So I wanted to go repurchase those. It just, it gets rid of the texture on my forehead. I get so much texture on my forehead and it just really emphasizes like the fine lines and I find that this really helps with that. Okay, first thing I got was the Huda Beauty Nude. Is it just a nude eye palette? Yeah, new nude. This palette right here, I've been eyeing this for quite a while now and I finally bit the bullet and bought it. So I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna try this today in the makeup tutorial. Um, and then I picked up the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo in She's a Doll. I thought it looked like a really pretty pink color. I picked up the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Again, because of the wrinkles and like my smile lines, I thought, this might be good. I know Tati swears by this. I feel like this is like a Tati recommendation <laughs> video. It's not. I just happened to like these two things. 
Um, so I wanted to try this. I picked up the Bare Minerals lipstick in Honesty. This is a really, really underrated in my opinion. This is my second time purchasing this. I do love their formula. Um, lasts really well and that's a really pretty color. I got that in, I think, a sample and fell in love with it. So I just want to repurchase that. Um, the, oh, this is just a little sample that they sent. I got the new Huda Beauty. What is this? One Coat. Yeah, One Coat Wow. Guys, the reviews I've seen on this, I just, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so I'm excited to try that today. I also ended up picking up the LYS Beauty Skin Loyalty Blur Mattify Set Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I specifically grabbed this one because I've been wanting a setting spray, but I am really leery about setting sprays just because of like my asthma situation. Um, but this one, the main ingredients were cucumber, green tea, and aloe leaf, um, and it's fragrance free. So I don't know that that means it's scent free. So I'll probably like spray it and then see if I can like handle the smell and then put it on my face. Um, but I thought if there was anything I was gonna purchase and try, it would be something that was fragrance free and an all natural clean beauty brand. So that's it for the haul. Let's go do my hair. Okay, so I'm just waiting for it to heat up. It lights up. Honestly, my biggest pet peeve with some of these things is that they don't light up when you push the power button and it just stays the same. You don't know if it's actually heating, so you have to keep touching it. <laughs> Makes me crazy. Also, this is a huge barrel. Like, I know it's, I bought the one and a half inch. I think you can get like a one, one and a quarter, and then the one and a half. I really wanted some big, big curls, so I went with the one and a half, but this might be bigger than I bargained for. <laughs> it is enormous. So... They have the little temperatures down the side. Actually, I'm going to turn that up. Probably my hair, I mean, I'm going to go up to the highest heat. I know that's bad, but if my hair is going to hold a curl, it has to be on a high heat. Actually, maybe I'll go down to 390. We'll go at 390, see how it goes. So I'm excited to try this. Like I said, it has the clamp, but supposedly this part actually heats up. Um, so you can just use it as a wand and this this is really really long. So I'm excited. I hope this works out Okay, so I'm just gonna use it like I usually would and I just I don't even put my hair up in a clip I just kind of section it into three big sections on both sides and Toss it and call it a day <laughs> So that's all I'm gonna do. I don't like taking a bunch of time to do it Okay, well right off the bat that is so much easier than usual because all of my hair was able to wrap around it, which I usually can't do. Usually it all gets like bunched up and lays on top of each other and then it doesn't curl right. So I'm already impressed, but let's see how the curls are. <laughs> okay. Um, this is making me think I did not wrap this right and I probably should have done a little bit less. So, okay, let me just go in with this. Let's see how that goes. Maybe I just need to take a little bit smaller sections. Be patient. <laughs> okay, so I just finished curling it. I feel like it looks a little bit crazy. Um, kind of wishing I'm gonna just kind of tease it out. Um, okay, that's pretty. It's giving a fair faucet. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I was going for. I kind of wish I would have got the, the size down, the one and a quarter size barrel, but man, I mean, those are some pretty stinking awesome waves. Okay, maybe, maybe I do like this one. I just... I'm used to seeing like smaller waves in my hair. I'm not used to this like big, kind of like messy beachy vibe, but I'm kind of living for it. What do you guys think? I like it. I feel like I need to do a little bit more like closer to the top. Because I feel like this side looks like nice and this side not so much. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
Let me try and fix what's going on up here. Okay, I think it's gonna take a little bit more playing around with, but it is definitely a vibe. I think I should do the underneath like a little bit more, but it is just giving that like messy tousled look and I'm kind of living for it. <laughs> so I wanted to get an update on the hair. Also, I did my makeup. I did a tutorial, um, so that's probably gonna be up before this vlog. So if you wanna know what I'm wearing, how I get this look, I will have a video up for it. Um, the lip combo, I'll just let you know. The lip combo is a Rare Beauty lip liner in Wise, and then the lipstick in Worthy. It's just perfect fall combo. Okay, so I want to give update on the hair. It's been about two hours and my curls are almost gone. So I don't know if I just need to go up on that higher heat setting, probably because that's how it always is my hair. Like it just won't stay unless it's high. So I'm going to try it again tomorrow. I'll let you guys know how it works out if the curls actually stay. Cause I feel like after two hours, that's pretty ridiculous. So anyway, um, I'm wearing that Victoria's Secret shirt or sweatshirt in jogger I told you guys about. Here, let me show it to you. Okay, so here it is. It's it's a bit much. Like I, I really like the color and I think I would like them separate. Like if I had these on with like a white top or had these on with like black leggings, I think that would be really cute. The combination is like, whoo, <laughs> like full on little Barbie yeah. crazy. Um, it's super comfortable though. Like I really like it. I'm definitely keeping it. It has these little like ribbed details on the side. It has like nice pockets. They're super cute, wicked comfortable, nice and like high waisted. Um, but yeah, not going to wear them together, but separate. I think they are fire. <laughs> You know, we think when you're dating somebody that getting flowers or like from your husband are like the best thing until you have children. And then these sweet little flowers that they give to you, like these are the ones I want to keep forever. <laughs> There's just something so precious about your baby, like picking you flowers and like being so proud and giving them to you. I don't know. I just love it. I had to share that. Quick change of plan. So I'll finish trying on everything for you guys at a later date. Um, my pulmonologist called and said that I need to go get an x-ray. So, I have to go do that. Such a nice mare. Like, don't get old. Don't get old. <laughs> uh, anyway, it is what it is. You see my daughter's toes. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we gotta go do that. And then also, I need to pick up a fly swatter. Um, I, I have no idea where these flies are coming from. Like, it's so disgusting. Like, you would think I lived in like the nastiest house ever and like I swear I don't but the the flies just keep coming so I don't know where they're coming from I'm like is there like food or something like under the fridge like there's got to be something that's attracting them and I literally cannot figure out what it is they're literally just everywhere like I was videoing um this makeup look and I was like putting on my foundation and then it was like zoop and it like flew by I was like oh my gosh I can't even film a video like I'm gonna have to like crop it out or something anyway I've got to go get some sort of like fly situation because it is just it's it's so gross I can't even believe I'm saying this on the internet <laughs> anyway I will see you there all right you stupid flies we're coming for you <laughs> yeah so I'm back home we secured the fly swatter situation and I'm gonna leave that to my husband to take care of the flies because that's disgusting. I started to do it and it like smelled like smelled like burning and I was like oh I just don't like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it to him. Um, I wanted to share my water bottle real quick. I know it's massive. I have been a Stanley girl for a really really long time. Um, this is 80 ounces so it's twice the size of like the biggest Stanley, which is like the 40 ounce, I think is what everybody uses. Um, and so I always tried to drink 40 ounces a day, which was two of those Stanleys. Um, it has the same like size straw, but it's in a plastic tub. Now, my reasoning behind that is because I found that in my Stanley cup, it tasted like a little metallic sometimes. Um, and then 
I was reading about it and then I had a friend that was sick that was like, oh, by the way, like, don't use metal cups if you're trying to like detox from metals and stuff, which I'm trying to do. So we got like the BPA free plastic. Um, I will say the top nozzle, even though it's the same size as the Stanley, it, um, it had like a little like filter up at the top. So I'm so used to like gulping with that like huge straw now that I didn't like it. So I ended up like cutting off the top. So it works just fine with that. But anyways, I love it. And it has the little like times down the side, which it's currently at 2 p.m. And it's it's 5.30. So <laughs> I'm a little behind. Don't judge me. But anyway, I wanted to try on those clothes for you real quick. So let's do that. So this is the brown dress. I'm not loving it. I like the material. I like the color. I think it's very pretty. It's very um, like old money-esque in my opinion, but sleeves are super big, like serious bat wing situation going on here. It just looks really frumpy through here. Also, it's not the most flattering. Like, there's a lot of extra odd material going on here and in the back. It's like it wasn't sewn right. I don't know. These are real buttons off the front. Like, it's cute. And I, I love the color. I love the pattern. I just wish it was a different style. I just feel like it makes me look like I gained 40 pounds. <laughs> so this one is going to be a no for me. Okay, so here is the tank top. It's really nice. It's like, I think it's, yeah, it's double lined in the front. It is, yeah, it's nice. It's a really nice material. I really like it. Nice and like structured. I feel like it's flattering. It's cute. Um, the skirt, I really like the skirt as well. It's a nice, modest length, definitely midi style. It's pull on with like elastic, has these like little lines in the front, but I feel like it's really flattering and fits well. Yeah, I really like it. I think these are gonna be a keep for sure. Okay, one more outfit I wanted to ask you guys about. <laughs> so this is that same tank in white. Again, really like it. I'm gonna keep this one. I picked up this hat and these jeans from Walmart. Now, I love the Sofia Vergara jeans. I usually get a short. Is this look too short? <laughs> I'm kind of like, that's almost like above ankle. That's kind of like weird. I don't know, are they too short? Let me know. Do you like the hat? I kind of really like the hat. They had one in white as well. I might go back and get the white one too. I think it's really cute. Fits well. There's not a whole lot of hats that I feel like fit me well or don't make my head look really odd. But like with the ponytail, I feel like it could be really cute. So let me know about the jeans. Are they too short? Do they look weird? Should I get the hat in white? Okay, that's it. Y'all, this is how you know you're old. You're watching Lady and the Tramp on a Friday night. <laughs> Uh, hello 30s no I'm honestly I'm not complaining I would give sitting here with my daughter watching Lady and the Tramp over any night out it's truly the best but it's still funny <laughs> okay guys it is the end of the night I just put Lucy to bed we had a fun time watching Lady and the Tramp and I am just going to wash my face and get in bed. I usually will journal and then I started journaling like a couple, almost a couple months ago, I guess. And um, I'm really enjoying it. I've heard it can be like great therapy. So I've been doing that. And um, then I usually read my Bible and I pray and I've been doing meditation before bed and I find that it helps me sleep a ton better. So that is what I'm going to do. And yeah, thanks for coming along with me today. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.